and Kate at the Quilting Bee. I'm Bailey. Today we're going to talk about a few of our lovely entry level machines. So all of these machines retail for under $300, so they're a great way to get into sewing or quilting. We'll just start down at the line. So the first one we'll show off here is the Janome Gem Gold. It's a great portable machine. It has a horizontal spool holder, um, top loading bobbin, so easy for drop in use. Um, it comes with a few different interchangeable soles with a five millimeter stitch width. And you have reverse, basic push down, and then a few different stitch selectors, which is done just with the knob on the side. So great for retreats, great for starting up for learning. Just an all over pretty good portable machine. We also have a needle threader on here, which is really nice to find at this mm -hmm. price point. And then next down the line, we have the Burnett Sew and Go 1. So it's the first one in the Sew and Go line. Again, we have a horizontal spool holder, um, automatic bobbin winder. Same with the reverse button. You have a needle threader, a couple different interchangeable soles. Um, and a nice feature on this one is you actually have presser foot pressure, so you can change that manually, um, which doesn't often come on machines. Um, then you also have stitch width, so you can go up to four millimeters width, um, as well as several different utility stitches, including a four-step buttonhole. So next we have the Janome 2212. Um, this is another great option from Janome at the beginning of their line. We have a lot more stitches on this one than the Gem Gold, so we have more options both up here and then these ones in orange you can access by changing our dial to the additional stitches. Um, we can fully adjust our stitch length, which is nice. Um, and then this is how we change to different stitch modes similar to the Gem Gold. Um, this one has a front loading bobbin, so the actual bobbin case that you put in. And you can also drop the feed dogs on this machine. Um, this one's got the vertical spool pins, and there are two of these here, so if you wanted to do a twin needle, you would just put your second spool on. And finally, we have the Baby Lock Zest. So this is Baby Lock's very first machine as you're getting into their line. Um, it's actually really similar to the 2212, so as you can see, we have a similar amount of stitches, and then you access them the same way. So you can change your length here, and if you turn it all the way to the other side of the dial where this green mark is, that's how you access your bottom row of stitches. Um, you can also change your stitch selector up here. Um, this one also has the front loading bobbin case and it has the vertical spool pins of which we have two. So both of those would be a great option. So now we're going to look at kind of the features of a couple of the machines. So these two machines are a really great entry level or also really good travel machines. The Gem Gold in particular is, I would say, most often used as a retreat machine or I know several people who've used it as their camping machine because you can't, you know, can't be parted from sewing for too long. Um, you don't have a whole lot of control over stitch width or stitch length. Everything is preset. But on the other hand, it's really just a great machine for piecing. It's solid, it's steady. And when you know, you're know you doing your quarter inch or if you're doing garments, doing your you know, five eighths, you, know, you can't really go wrong with the basics. Both these have a needle threader as well. So if you're coming from another machine where you're really used to having that threader, or if you just you do need it, um, both of them have it, whereas that's not always the case on the entry level machines. Um, so it's definitely a perk for both of these. So additionally, this one also has the option to put a vertical spool pin in. So you have the horizontal one by default, but it also comes with the one that plugs in on the top. And then like Bailey said earlier, you have your presser foot pressure. Um, so that's something that does come in handy to control every once in a while, especially if you're working with various materials. Um, say you're doing garment sewing and you just need to adjust that a little bit. Um, not a lot of entry level machines have this. So these two machines are actually almost the same, um, but there's a couple key differences that do make up the price difference because this one is a little bit less than this one over here, the Tiny 12. Um, so those two differences would be the thread cutter. 
So after you're done sewing, you just take your top and your bottom thread, pull them and cut them on the side. This one actually doesn't have that, so you're gonna have to keep your little snips on hand. Um, the other really big difference is that on the 2212, you can drop the feed dogs, whereas on the Zest, it just comes with a darning plate that fits over the needle plate to kind of just cover the feed dogs. Um, so if either of those things are important to you, you would definitely be looking at the 2212 instead of the Zest. But if not, the Zest is still a really good machine. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we had a great time showing you these machines today. Um, keep an eye out, we're gonna be making quite a few more of these. So like and subscribe to get notifications when our new videos come out. Hope you have a good day. Stop by and we'll demo them in person.